Speaking of the greats, we have Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson. Ali, man. Ali. You know Michael Buffer, uh, yeah? Yeah. We had him on the courtside club as well, and he also... He, he did a couple of my fights, man. He's awesome. He did a lot of my fights. <laughs> He's my, that's, my, that's my guy. I love him. He's awesome. He, yeah, he yeah. also picked Ali, and there was quite a bit of, of a stir in the comments on YouTube just, you know, talking about their style and how Mike had all this power, um, but he wholeheartedly uh, said Ali and, you know, had a relationship with him as well, so. I love Tyson to death. I love him for w what he did in, in the sport of boxing the, uh, and everything, and the way he, he's bounced back you know, in life, period. And um, he's doing well. I actually was just around him before I got serious with boxing again. You know, I was just I was just in a bad spot in my life and I was around him. And he looked at me and he almost started crying because he said he's seen so much of his himself in me. He just seen I was hurting, I was I was out of shape, I was over I was overweight, about 38, 40 pounds, and it, it, yeah, I was drunk. And he was just like, I, I know what you're going. He was just like, I know what you're going through. And he literally was just talking to me, and he was really literally about to cry, man, because I want to apologize, man. I I ain't want to be around him like that. It's just I was just going through a crazy time in my life, but I'm back though. I'm back now. I think at the same time though, it it should mean something to you that he respects you in so much of a way that it made him emotional to see you yeah at a place where he knows you can do so much better. You know, so for him to have that sort of um like respect and and admiration for you should make you you know that's pretty cool that's pretty dope if tyson's yeah, was, like you know what that was uh that was kind of the last day that was the turning point yeah that was actually that was literally like the last day of me off. so after that day i, I turned i turned around he has a podcast or he did for a while i i think that conversation would be one that would be very interesting if you two were to get together and, and I'm actually supposed to go on his podcast, uh, but I've been I've been so focused and busy with with this fight, but I'm I'm, I'm going to go on his podcast though. Yeah, yeah, I love Tyson, man. I love Tyson, I love the Duff. I think you need to do that for the for the fans, for for yourself and Tyson. For Tyson. A good dude, man. He a good dude. <laughs> he misunderstood, man. He he he, he a good dude, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you sharing that story. I think that's dope. It was a surreal moment, man. What's up, guys? It's Rachel Demita. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Courtside Club. Make sure that you like, rate, and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcast. We have new episodes coming to you guys every single week, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you soon.